Okay, so I know when it's a new year, everyone's like, new year, new me, haha. <laughs> well, I'm kind of doing that too, but we're not setting unrealistic standards. I just want to become the best version of myself mentally, physically, and spiritually. Maybe this will motivate you and we can do this together. Hello guys, it is the first video of this year. I haven't uploaded in like three weeks. I know I'm fake and I didn't mean for it to be that long. I've just been going back and forth with myself thinking of like what my first video should be for the year. And I felt like this video was like the perfect one just because everyone's like new year, new me. So I'm like same, but hopefully a better me. That's the goal. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having an amazing start to the new year. So yeah, one of my top new year's resolutions this year is to be the healthiest version of myself mentally ment <laughs> mentally mentally and physically pretty much just being the best version of myself but i must say mentally i've gotten so much better if you guys watch my vlogs on my vlog channel you guys know at the beginning of 2021 i got off my antidepressants that didn't turn out well i had a rough summer and then i ended up getting back on them and now i'm good thank goodness because that was a that was a very spooky time if you know, you know. I definitely wanna figure out a sustainable routine because I feel like that's so important for me and so many other people. Like if I don't have a routine, I am all over the place. So we definitely need to set that up and I wanna be more disciplined. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along all of the steps. I'm gonna show you guys everything. Also a little trigger warning. I am gonna be sharing my weight and measurements and before and after pictures. I don't like saying before and after because your before is still beautiful. So I kinda of just like to call them progress pictures. So we're gonna be doing that during this video and I'm going to be sharing you guys everything. I'm not basing my progress off of weight because I feel like weight is just so up and down but I'm just going to like have it for progress reasons. So yeah if you're a little sensitive towards like weight and measurements definitely skip that part. So let's get into that and I will start. Oh my god I literally tripped on my bed. So let's get into that because I'm going to stop blabbing away. Having a clean environment is so important to me. Here, I'll show you guys around my house because I did some serious cleaning. <laughs> I'm kind of extra and I ordered... <laughs> I don't even want to say it. I ordered like pink cleaning supplies to make it more fun to clean and I was hoping to get it before I clean the house but I just got it and I have to show you. So I saw this on TikTok, I know. My first time testing the brand new Pink Stuff toilet cleaner. It is really thick and smells really fresh. I have like a set on Amazon so I was like, I need this because my favorite color is pink and it comes with the Miracle Cream Cleaner, a cleaning paste, multi-purpose cleaner, and bathroom foam. Apparently, it's all pink. I also ordered these pink rubber gloves. I kind of want to see how pink this stuff is, shall we? It also says it's vegan. Let's open them up. We need to test this out and see if it's actually pink. Sorry, I'm gonna show you my toilet, but it's, it's all clean. <gasps> Whoa, shit. Oh, I thought it was gonna be more pink than that. Okay, let's test out the foam cleaner. Okay, that's pink. Whoa, that's actually cool. Okay, I feel like this Loki makes cleaning more fun. Me trying to convince myself. But you guys get it, a clean environment boosts my serotonin. I feel like I'm more productive. This stuff is pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be way pinker, but moving on. I actually have a whole video of my self-care routine, which I'm trying to stay consistent with. And I also have been trying to make it my goal to meditate a lot more. I really love guided meditation. So this one's my favorite. I'll link it below. It definitely helps me when I'm feeling super anxious and stressed. I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Okay, so step three is fitness, and I feel like that ties in with my mental health. Like, I feel so much better when I'm, like, consistently working out. Like, I just feel, like, working out gets my endorphins and my serotonin going, so that's, like, a big part of my mental health. Like, if I don't work out for, like, a week or two, I start feeling like a slug mentally and physically. It's not fun. I'm for sure going to be consistent on that and going to my personal trainer, like, four to five times a week, um, and then giving myself the weekend off to rest and recover our 
our muscles. I'm also going to be doing the AHP Shred Challenge. So it's pretty much an eight week mental and physical fitness challenge, which it's online, the AHP app. And I wanted to tell you guys this because there's actually a prize pool of $50,000. Do I need to repeat myself? $50,000 for the month of January. So that's why I wanted to share this with you guys and see if you guys wanted to join with me because we can keep each other motivated. You can Instagram DM me and we can keep the motivation going because I feel like it's way more fun when you do it with someone. It just holds me way more accountable. So to enter the shred challenge, it's $40. So pretty much $5 a week, which is way cheaper than the gym. Just saying. Or it's a free entry if you purchase the EHP shred stack. It includes the OxyWay Lean Wellness Protein, the Oxy Shred University Proven Fat Burner. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'm going to try my best. Acetyl L-Cartanine to help with additional fat loss and mental focus. So yeah, if you guys want to do this with me, I will link it down below and you can win from the $50,000 prize pool. I feel like it's just a win-win because you're also getting fit mentally and physically and you have a chance to win $50,000. Like, come again. This is definitely a um, great start to the year, just saying. I am pumped to get this going. Okay, time for the weigh-in and measurements. I did this right when I woke up and when I was completely um, nude. I couldn't record myself nude because I would get demonetized. We don't want that. I also took a progress picture to start with just so we can like compare and stuff. I'll include that. I actually compared my measurements from last year, exactly a year ago, to this year. And there wasn't like a very big difference at all. I did notice that my ah. chest went high. I did notice my chest went up. So I think my boobs definitely got bigger, which not mad about, you know, since I couldn't record because I was um, naked. I'll show you guys like a video. I just feel like I can get like a lot more toned if you know what I mean. This is my first progress picture. I also weighed in at 150.3 and then for my measurements, that picture is how I measured my body. So for my bust, I'm 36.5. For my chest, I'm 32. Upper arm, 11. Waist, 29. Stomach, 30. Hips, 39 thighs 24 and calves are 12. I was actually comparing it to last year's measurements and I actually went down five inches and five and a half pounds. So that was cool. I'm at the grocery store. I feel really awkward filming right here. Everyone's like grocery shopping behind me, but I was reading online that apparently at most grocery stores, they have like the healthier whole food options on the perimeter of the grocery store. Then once you go into like the center aisles, it's more like processed foods. I typically like to stay on the perimeter, but obviously I need to treat myself and we're gonna go in the center aisles. I don't care, but fun fact. So yeah, this would be considered the perimeter of the grocery store because it's on the outside, which makes sense because usually it's like where the fruit and vegetables are and like the seafoods and the meat and then on the opposite side it's like mostly like breads and stuff we got some strawberries now we're gonna get some veggies and work our way around i'm gonna try to stick to like high protein high fat foods obviously i'm gonna still eat carbs because we need carbs but i'm gonna try to mostly like get a lot of high protein stuff okay first i'm gonna grab some strawberries i love snacking on these these are so good some carrots the audacity they don't have my coffee who is taking all of the coffee completely gone i don't drink dark roast only blonde wow tragic i've been eating oatmeal like every single day for like two years straight so of course you need to stock up on this I also took a food sensitivity test and apparently almonds is one of mine. So I switched to macadamia milk instead of almond milk, which is um, really kind of sad because macadamia milk is like $5 per thing. I'll show you. And some of you guys are probably like, why don't you just drink oat milk? I don't like oat milk, um, but this is my favorite one. It's literally $5 for this small thing, but I don't want stomach issues. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get the rest of my stuff and then I'll show you guys what I got. <laughs> Okay, good to go. Okay, I just got back from the grocery store. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this pretty quick. So for my proteins, I like to stick to like lean meats. I'm not really a red meat type of gal. I don't know, it like grosses me out sometimes. So for my proteins, I got brown turkey breast. I like to make this with tacos. So love these. I also got some chicken and this is like the already chopped chicken. Looks like this and it was buy one get one free. So I got two of these and then and another protein that I got are some organic eggs. So this is really good. I literally have probably two eggs a day. Um, so love me some eggs. Then for like fruits and veggies.
veggies. I got some lettuce, some strawberries. I love to put this in my yogurt parfaits. They're really good. Some carrots and mushrooms, which you guys saw. And then sometimes when I get bored of water, I always get my sparkling ices, which I've mentioned like a million and one times. My favorite flavor is coconut pineapple. Looks like this. So I got a couple of those. A snack that I really like to have are yogurt parfaits. And this is my favorite. It's just the light and fit vanilla one. So good. They're amazing. And it's like a good amount of protein too. It has 12 grams of protein. So I got those. My oatmeal, which you saw. And my macadamia milk that is overpriced. These are like my staples that I was running out of, but I also didn't get a lot of food because I got a order from HelloFresh, which you guys know I love HelloFresh, so I didn't really need to get a whole bunch of groceries because I got my HelloFresh meal. This isn't sponsored by the way, but yeah, I love them. So that's my grocery haul. Okay, so a social life, I definitely need to work on this. It's kind of harder now because of COVID and everything going on. I'm a serious homebody, but I definitely need to make more of an effort to make plans because social connections make people happier and social interactions are good for your brain health. So I need to get on that and get it going. My sleeping schedule is so important. I feel like if I don't get enough sleep, I'm just a zombie all the time. And it does help with your like stress levels and stuff. So my goal is to make sure I get ready to go to bed at 10 p.m. every night. And that just means like getting into bed. Like it takes me like 30 minutes to like fall asleep. Definitely going to bed at like 10 p.m. And then I'm going to be waking up at 7 a.m. That gives me a lot of time to fall asleep and, you know, enough hours of sleep. <music> So I feel like that time is really good because I usually fall asleep watching YouTube videos. That's just like what I always do. So I'm going to make sure I get ready to go to sleep at 10 p.m. and then wake up at 7 a.m. Usually I wake up sometimes earlier like at 6.30 but it depends on the day. Yeah, so that's going to be my sleeping schedule. Sleep is super important so I'm going to be doing that. And then 8 a.m. Monday through Friday I have my personal trainer at 8. So I have an hour to eat breakfast and do whatever between 7 and 8 a.m. So we're all good there. Definitely come below. Let me know your guys's like body resets and what routine you're going to be doing this year or any of your new year's resolutions because i'm curious i want to do this with you guys and i'll also have like monthly check-ins so i'll definitely do like updated measurements my weight all of that and like progress pictures so i hope you guys join me on this for us to be our healthiest versions of ourselves mentally physically spiritually everything but i hope you guys enjoyed watching be sure to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye guys Thank you.